welcome guys in this episode i am going to talk about the ls command what is it ls command is a command used to list down the contents of a directory like files and folders let's fire up terminal type ls you can see there is a desktop download music picture and templates videos these are all folders and there is a file new file so what ls basically doing is showing the contents of my home folder ls only showing us the files and folder inside my home folder but simply it is listing down the content of my home folder but it is not showing the properties of this file and folder like permission who can see my who can see this folders and files who can write into my folder or into my file when this file and folder has been created what is the size of my file so these are all our properties of a file or a directory to see those properties of a file we have to use some kinds of parameter with ls command parameter like minus a minus l minus h let me use one parameter here type ls minus l to see the contents of my home folder with their properties enter okay there you are you can see some of the rows are having a prefix of character d this character d telling us this is a folder like desktop download live music these are all folders file like new file is not having a prefix of character d because it is a file after d or dash for files and folders you can see there is a space for nine character in a group of three the first group from the left is showing us the user having the read write and execute permission for this folder second one showing us the users group having read and execute permission and the third group referring for others like others can read and execute i will talk about this permission for files and folders in later episode with more detail for now just focus on ls ls minus l is showing us other properties like the size the date and the time we can type man ls to see other parameters we can use with ls press q to get out of man let me use an additional parameter with the parameter l what is it it is h h stands for human readable format enter okay so what's the difference between ls minus l and ls minus lh this is the difference the way it is showing us the result previously it shows us the size in byte format now it is showing in kilobyte format let me use another parameter with ls ls minus a a for all irrespective of whether it is a visible file or a hidden file you can see there there are some files and folder starting with a dot dot is used to tell operating system these are all hidden file or folder by default ls will not gonna show you the hidden file or folder to see hidden file or folder we have to type ls minus a that's mean list down all let's combine those previously rounded parameter for ls ls minus a l and h enter it is showing us all files whether it is visible or hidden with their respective properties like permissions size time and so and so things in more human readable way so this is a very cool command to remember let's remember the points what i will learn today that what is ls what ls do what are the frequently used options we can use and how to see man page thank you for watching keep visiting ehungers.com